Okay, hi guys and welcome to the video. I thought I'd do another little sales roundup, pick up a bunch of stuff that hopefully you will have seen in haul videos recently. Um, and I have tried with this video to not include any car parts. Um, so yeah, because that is predominantly still what we are selling. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be a quite a varied mix of stuff. I think there's 18 items I've pulled up um, to hopefully give you a varied mix of stuff. So if you are new to the channel, my name is Nick. Uh, I'm a full-time reseller. I do this with my wife. We work from home and we buy and sell whatever we can get our hands on that we can make a profit on really. And this channel is all about how we do that and sharing what we get up to. So what I'm gonna do in a second, I will share, I will screen share, I'll go into eBay and I've picked out a load of stuff. I will let you know if I can remember where I got it from, how much I paid, and you will see what I've managed to sell it for. So if I just set up a screen share and we will begin. Okay, so you should now be seeing this. Now I did share this on Facebook um, in the TatChat Facebook group. Um, this I made a little video about recently. Uh, it's a really good board game to pick up if you can find it. I picked this one up ages ago and the only reason I hadn't listed it so you might be able to hear my dog in the background. Um, the only reason I hadn't listed it for so long um, was I wanted to make a video about it, uh, which I did a couple of weeks ago. I then listed it. I initially had it up. I think I had it up for one cycle of 10 days at 150. It got a lot of views, a few questions. I dropped it to 12999. And then I had an offer of £100, which I was more than happy to take. When I made the video about this, I did go into eBay and look them up. And they weren't going for, the vast majority weren't going for beyond 100 But I thought I'd take a chance and see. Anyway, a guy in America messaged me and asked if I would take uh, £100 free shipping. And I explained to him my international shipping on this item was done GSP. So the shipping is going to be what it is. I said I was, ha I was happy to take 100, but shipping would be on top. So these are the pictures. Uh, it was in great condition apart from, can you guys hear Monty's tip tapping around? Here he comes. Apart from, you'll see in a second. I can find the pictures. These, there was a few damaged tiles that something had been, they'd got wet at some point and they were stuck together. Apart from that, it was 100% complete and in excellent condition. So yeah, I took 100 um, with free domestic shipping. So I had to ship it to the global shipping hub and then they dealt with the international track shipping. But yeah, great sale that one. Well worth remembering that title if you can. Next, you may remember a couple of weeks back we went to a jumble sale and I picked up a bunch of rackets. Not something I've really done much with in the past, Oh, Monty's off again, but I paid very little. I paid 50 pence for each of the lots I'm about to show you. So, Monty, make your mind up. Are you coming in or going out? <laughs> right, so this was 50 pence. As you can see, listed it at 12 99 with 2 99 shipping, and that's gone. Those were new. Uh, they still had seals on the handles. Uh, this Yonex uh, badminton racket I listed at fourteen ninety nine with shipping, and that has gone. And this was a Wilson Pro Staff titanium racket, which went for nine ninety nine with shipping. So I spent one pound fifty, and I don't know what that is. So Twelve ninety nine twenty eight, about thirty eight pounds before shipping, and and then of course fees have got to come off that. But yeah, really pleased they went and they didn't stick around for long. So I will be dabbling in those again for sure. Next, um, this isn't a recent pickup. It's just something I've been dipping into the thousands and thousands of magic cards I've got. Trying to slowly make some inroads into listing them. Um, this was one foil um, special edition card, which sold for a tenner, just to give you an idea 
they are not all worth that by a long shot in fact very few are um but yeah i've listed not many i think i did about 15 listings or so um but that one's gone which is nice i shared this recently at a car boot sale um a couple of weeks back now i think i bought a tub of duplo i pulled this out this is a complete set uh the pit stop set uh disney cars 2 and sold it for 30 pounds with shipping on top and the buyer paid international shipping on that as well uh, i think i paid four pounds for the tub and the tub has i don't know a kilo or so of duplo in it and i've got that listed separately so yeah plenty of money in that and this sold quick this sold within a few days i think uh this one again was a jumble sale pickup um i think it's actually i made a vlog when we were at the jumble sale and i think it shows me picking this up off the stall um i think i paid 50p or maybe a pound i think it was 50p and it's a coleman vintage flask like a thermos flask to keep your um soup warm or to keep your cold drink cold and that's gone for 12 pounds with 2.99 shipping <coughs> right this one it is from the car parts hall but it's not technically a car part so i thought i'd get away with that one uh this is a vintage castrol oil jug if i flick through the pictures i think i said at the time when i shared this I was going to try and get those dents knocked out. I tried and really wasn't getting anywhere. I, I slightly improved it, but yeah, I, in the end, I just took pictures as it was and, and got it listed. It's really old. It's really bashed about. But I think that's the charm of it, to be perfectly honest. So you can see all the dents are clearly shown. And that's just how it was and what did we get on this 17.99 with 3.99 shipping i've got a feeling that went international as well i think they paid uh gsp shipping on top of that uh something a bit different uh this is a roca uh targa thermostatic shower mixer bar now i bought a bunch of plumbing stuff in a clearance sale from an online plumbing merchant uh, if I go into the picture, oh, I can't. Oh, what's it doing? It's not working. Here we go. Uh, yeah, that's what it is. So it's the the horizontal bar, the mixer, and the head. That's what they're like. And yeah, I can't remember. I should have dug the receipt out. What I paid on these, I think about thirty each, maybe. Uh, one buyer bought two, as you can see up here, at $89.99. So they paid, um, what's that, $180 uh, for two with free shipping. And these went on the global shipping program as well. So I shipped them within the UK, and then they've been shipped out by the GSP. So, yeah, plenty of profit in those. I do have, that's my first sale from that um, plumbing haul, though. They've been really slow. I've got loads of other stuff. Um yeah, car boot sale find again. I picked up a paintball gun barrel, a paintball like face mask with goggles, like head protection, and a box with 1,500 or three bags of these. Oh, and some hoppers and, and some more ammo. Um, I've listed it all. I had an offer on the barrel, which I wish I'd taken. I, I counter offered and they never came back to me. But I paid five. No, was it five? Uh, no, I think it was 10. I think I paid 10 pounds for everything. So I sold one of these bags at 15.99. So I've, you know, kind of got my money back already. I've got two more lots of this left. And then the barrel, which is on for 25 or something, maybe more. And the mask is on for, again, 20, 25, something like that. So, yeah, there should be plenty of money in it by the time... I've shifted all of that. Next we have, now these are Brooke Bond tea cards. This is a complete album. This is one of the sets 
of bond cards that does have a little bit of value most are almost worthless uh, this is out in space as you can see and it's complete in the book I took lots of pictures showing all the way through the book it's in quite a state they do go for more than this but mine the actual album wasn't in the best of condition uh very tatty um but it still went for 14.99 that's with free shipping now that goes as a large letter just slot it into a jiffy bag and away it goes so very cheap postage on it <clears throat> um i've got thousands of these that i'm going to sell off uh, in job lots uh, I listed one lot today, actually, uh, but that was worth splitting out, and it's all quick. Now, the Scalextrix lot, I picked up the same jumble sale as that Coleman flask I just showed you. I picked up a, a huge lot of Scalextrix stuff. Most of it was track. It's all vintage, uh, original uh, track. Um, I've broken it down into lots, and I think it's going to be slow. It's it's really quite common stuff, and there's loads all over eBay. If you've got more interesting stuff like this, for example, this is a load of barriers and these little wedges uh, that you support that you raise the track up on. Um, that sort of stuff seems to go better. The track is literally all over eBay, and it's going to be slow. But I pay £5 for the whole bundle. This lot here, as you can see, sold for $14.99 uh, with shipping on top. So that's put me into profit on everything. And I saw one bundle of track. Uh, these were just normal straights, uh, 24 of them. You can see how little value they really have. Uh, I sold that for $19.99. Uh, free shipping. And you've got to take Hermes shipping out of that, which is about £7, thereabouts. Um, but everything after that first lot is profit. So it doesn't really matter too much now. I've got another like five or six lots. Um, I do have the the little hand controllers and the mains power, but I want to get that um, tested first. So, um, yeah, I haven't listed that yet. Next, we have the Tamagotchi that sold. I picked up two of these. I did share this already. Um, at a car boot sale, paid a pound each. This one sold super, super fast at 35 pounds it's got free shipping there that's free domestic uh it was 10 pounds international tracked worldwide and it went to china so this has gone to china he paid the 10 on top of the 35 you can see that it had this lanyard which was really nice um i put a new battery in it so you can see that the little egg is showing in the middle there so yeah and there's a close-up showing the lcd screen working properly yeah, and I've got the other one working now as well. I couldn't get the battery compartment open on the other one, but I've managed that, so I'm going to list that for the same money and see how we go. So that was a nice, quick sale. Uh, jumble sale books again. I can't remember. I think I was paying 10p a book. Um, yeah, pretty sure. Um, and, yeah, same author. So these are all uh, Weiss and Hickman, uh, Seventh Gate. Is it Seventh Gate? No, Death Gate Cycle. That's it. So I think this is the complete like seven volume set. And these fantasy novels, I've picked these up on and off over the years, and they just tend to go really well if you can get a bundle from the same author, particularly if you get a complete kind of series, complete story. So that's what this was. I listed it at twelve ninety nine with two ninety nine shipping, so just under sixteen pounds all in, and it owes me if they were ten p each. What's that? That's seventy p. So yeah, still good money in it. And yeah, they were quick. They sold very fast. Uh, I shared these, I think, in a jumble sale hall. At one jumble sale, we were queuing up outside, and they had a stall set up right next to the queue, and were selling stuff to us while we waited and they just kept bringing out bags and boxes um and i rummaged in one of the bag that bags that came out and there were these bob the builder toys and they said 10 pence each so i paid 60 pence uh listed them at 10 pounds with 2.99 shipping and they went fast so yeah just a quick little bread and butter sale really 
Uh, still selling off um, again from another jumble sale. I picked up a load of software. I got a hundred pounds for a different Windows uh, retail pack. This one didn't have as much value. Has gone for twenty nine ninety nine with free shipping, uh, which is cool. And I did manage to sell that game I sent into Amazon. It was a Mac Age of Empires. Uh, I got seventy pounds, I believe, at FBA before fees. So the little stack of software I picked up uh, paid three pounds on the lot. I think it was about fifty pence each. Um, has bought some some fantastic profit actually. And last one for this video. Um, I've had these for ages. I think they owe me a fiver. I bought them a long time ago. They've just been sat in a corner being ignored they are judge dread magazines uh volumes one to 68 all in binders in fantastic condition um but there's very little value i looked into it and people have done these on bids and got so little money um so i didn't really know where to go they were in good condition pretty much mint um and in binders there was very few equivalent of this kind of volume and then this number so i didn't know quite where to go there didn't seem to be much demand at all so what i did was i stuck them on auction you can see here it's got one bid um i did them on auction in case you know and it had international um gsp on it as well um just in case there was more of a market than i thought but it just went for the maiden bid of 39.99 but at least starting it at that point I was going to be happy with that if I got it. Uh, as you can see, it had domestic shipping of nearly ten pounds because they weighed an absolute ton. Um, and I think these did go international. I can't remember now. Maybe they didn't. Not sure. But yeah, very happy to get them out of the way. They were big and bulky. Had them sat around for ages, and in the end, didn't take long to shift. Okay, so. Let me end the screen share and we'll wrap this up. Okay, you're back with me. Right, hope there's something interesting there. I uh, hope you enjoyed those few sales. Um, I'm going to leave you there. Uh, if you enjoy the videos, please give them a thumbs up. I'll be back soon with another video. Until then, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.